All right then, so now we're listening to a fetch event right here. And we have that set up in our service worker. And remember, this was the last criteria inside Google's guide for enabling the banner to add the app to the home screen. So remember, when we satisfy certain conditions, these things here, Google on Android devices will automatically show a banner prompting the user to add the app to the home screen. And that's what we're trying to do here. So the last criteria that we checked was, has registered a service worker with a fetch event handler. Now we have that and we satisfy the rest of the conditions as well. So now I want to test out our app on the Android emulator to see if we get this install banner. So I've gone over here and opened Android Studio. I'm gonna to go to the AVD manager and I'm gonna start up this thing over here. So we're just starting up the emulator, then I'm gonna visit it in a browser. Now, right here, let me just minimize these things so they don't get in the way. And right here, we can see we're at 10.0.2.2, then port 5500. Remember, that's what we had to do to show what's on the local host on our computer. Now, remember, service workers only work over HTTPS connections and local host is the exception, but we're not on local host here. It's showing us what's on local host on our development computer, but we're not on local host up here. So this is actually not going to work. So what we need to do is find out a way to be able to type in local host port 5500 here and see the website because localhost was the exception to the rule where we don't have to use HTTPS and the service worker will still work. It won't work using this. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna use a bit of port forwarding by using the Chrome Dev Tools. So if we just take that off the screen for a second, go over here and we go to, oops, this one rather, go to more tools and then go to remote devices. What we're gonna do now is connect up this remote device woohoo with chrome tools and we can see it's already seen this thing right here it's detected it right so if we click on that this represents this device that we have open over here now what we're going to do is go back to settings and we're going to use port forwarding and we're going to add a rule now the port that we want to visit on here using localhost is just going to be 5500 we'll keep it the same for simplicity and what we want to do is serve up the local address over here when that happens, which is just localhost port 5500. Now that's the same as 127.0.0.1 port 5500. These two things are the same localhost and this thing over here, so it doesn't matter. So we're gonna add that, and what we're saying here is, okay, I want you to forward this address on our emulator over here to this address on our development machine, this thing up here. So now we could type in localhost over here and it should work. So what I'm gonna do for good measure is just close these down like so, and I'm gonna delete this dude as well. I wanna uninstall that app home screen icon. Then I'm gonna open up this browser again, and this time, let me just turn this to no thanks. I'm gonna to go to localhost, and then port 5500, press enter, and we should eventually see this site. And now we can see this install banner right at the bottom over here because we satisfy all those conditions. So this is much nicer than having to go to the three little dots up here, the settings, and then adding to the home screen because not everyone knows how to do that. But now the user is being prompted to add this to their home screen via this little banner that Google Chrome is automatically popping up for us. And it does that because we've matched all of these criteria over here. So when we meet this criteria, it does this automatically for us. Now I can click on this and add it to the home screen. And hopefully it should ask me to add it automatically like that. And now if I go to the home screen, I should be able to see this app. And if I open it up, everything should work as normal. Awesome, it does. Cool, so that's how we can use the install banner to add something to the home screen just by satisfying these different conditions right here. Now, sometimes this behavior of the emulated device connected to Chrome tools, sometimes it can be a bit shoddy and fickle and it might not always work and show the install banner, in my experience anyway. If that's the case, you could always link up your own real Android device to Chrome development tools this way and test it. 
Now to do that, you're gonna to need to enable USB debugging on your device and then plug it in to a USB port on your computer. Now to enable USB debugging, um, you're best off looking at an online guide. I'll leave a link down below to such a guide to help you do that. But once you plug it in, you should see it appear over here, your device. And then you could use port forwarding the same way and then you can test this out on your own device instead, all right? So now we're fulfilling all the criteria for the install banner and we should see it when we test it on our device. Next, I'd like to move on to caching assets with service workers over here.